The aircraft had departed from Taipei at 16.22 local time. The accident occurred 10 hours into the flight. The Boeing 747 SP-09 was 350 miles, 560 km, northwest of San Francisco, cruising at an altitude of 41,000 feet, 12,500 m. The cockpit crew consisted of Captain Men Yuan Ho, age 55, First Officer Zhu Yu Chang, age 53, Flight Engineer Kuo Pin Wei, age 55, Relief Captain Qian Yuan Liao, age 53, and Relief Flight Engineer Shi Lung Su, age 41. Captain Ho had approximately 15,500 flight hours. The first officer had more than 7,700 hours, and the flight engineer had approximately 15,500 hours of flight time. The sequence began with a loss of thrust in the number 4 engine. That engine had failed twice during previous flights. In each of those cases, the engine was restarted after descending to a lower altitude. The maintenance response to the logbook entries that noted the problems included engine inspection, fuel filter drainage and replacement, vane controller inspection and replacement, water drainage from mock probes, and other filter replacements. None of those acts fixed the recurrent problem of the number 4 and diagram of aircraft's roll pitch attitudes and time from the NTSB report the flight engineer attempted to restore power to the engine, but didn't close the bleed valve, as required by the checklist procedure after the flight engineer announced the engine had flamed out, the captain instructed him to restart it, and ordered the first officer to request clearance for a descent from, 41,000 feet. According to the flight manual, engine restart is unlikely to succeed above 30,000 feet. The attempt failed. Meanwhile, airspeed continued to decrease, and the autopilot rolled the control wheel to the maximum left limit of 23 degrees. As the speed decreased even further, the plane began to roll to the right, even though the autopilot was maintaining the maximum left roll limit. By the time the captain disconnected the autopilot, the plane had rolled over 60 degrees to the right and the nose had begun to drop. Ailerons and flight spoilers were the only means available to the autopilot to keep the wings level as the autopilot does not connect to the rudder during normal flight. To counteract the asymmetrical forces created by the loss of thrust from the number 4 engine, it was essential for the pilot to manually push on the left rudder. However, the captain failed to use any rudder inputs at all, before or after disconnecting the autopilot. The resulting uncontrolled flight path is depicted in the diagram. As the plane descended through clouds, the captain's attention was drawn to the artificial horizon which displayed excessive bank and pitch. Because such an attitude is highly irregular, the captain incorrectly assumed the indicators to be faulty. Without any visual references, due to the clouds, and having rejected the information from the Audis, the captain and first officer became spatially disoriented. Zero zero Only zero after breaking through the me? bottom of the clouds at 11,000 feet, 3,400 m, was the captain able to orient himself and bring the plane under control, leveling out at 9,600 feet, 2,900 m. They had descended 30,000 feet, 9,100 m, in under two and a half minutes while all on board experienced g-forces as high as 5 grams. The cockpit crew believed that all four engines had flamed out, but the National Transportation Safety Board found that only engine number four had filled. After leveling out, the three remaining engines were supplying normal thrust. A restart attempt brought number four back into use. They began climbing and reported to air traffic control condition normal now and continuing on to Los Angeles. They then noticed that the inboard main landing gear was down and one of the plane's hydraulic systems was empty. Because they did not have sufficient fuel to reach Los Angeles with the drag added by the landing gear, they diverted to San Francisco. An emergency was then declared and they flew straight into the SFO airport. The plane landed without further incident.